Um, I have a 3.88 GPA, um, unweighted, and um, I have a 28 on the ACT. Um, I am taking AP Calculus. I took AP Chemistry last year, and um, as well as honors classes such as um, History and stuff like that. Uh, I'm the catcher for here at Hope, and then I also play center field for uh, the Albuquerque baseball team. Well, my mom works with um, the coach of the 11U baseball team that I uh, helped coach out, and he, he knew about me and uh, my background, so he asked if I could just come help out, and so every, every Sunday I'd just come out, help the guys, go to a couple practices, um, just encourage them and help them out to have kind of like a role model. And then, um, like I said, my Spanish teacher, um, she knew the, uh, Matt, the kid I used to work with on Saturdays just at the park just to go help him out. Um, and just helping out my mom's classroom with the preschoolers. Um, I have done things such as a cardiac picnic for kids with um, cardiac problems and then I have just come out of um, like open heart surgery and things like that. Um, I've coached a 11U baseball team, the Oryx. Um, I, um, I help my mom out in my mom's classroom. She's a teacher, a uh, kindergarten teacher over at Mission Avenue Elementary School. Um, I also worked with a kid, um, that my Spanish teacher knew, um, he was 13 years old and, um, he was an eighth grader and he, he really wanted, uh, just some help in the baseball area. So I would meet with him, um, on Saturdays and just help him out with basics, throwing, uh, ground balls, fly balls, just stuff like that, just to help him out a little bit. Um, definitely my dad. Uh, my dad was a big mentor. Um, he, he was a professional, or not a professional, but a college soccer player. And so he always had that gene that I have, uh, the competitiveness, and he always pushed me to be the best that I could, not only in my sports, uh, but also in the classroom. And my mom being a teacher, I was homeschooled until fifth grade. So um, she gave me the basic uh, foundations and really set me on the right path um, work-wise so I could succeed in the classroom as well as on the field. I've just always seen John as such a leader to all the little kids. I mean, I've always seen him at the um, cardiac picnics. He's always so good with the kids. Like the little kid he had this year, he was awesome. He had his face painted with the little kid. It was awesome. <laughs> He's just like amazing with kids, just all around. Group when John was an eighth grader, uh, we had a group of four guys that, as eighth graders, played varsity and sort of based our the core of our program around them for the last five years. This will be their senior year, so three of them are still here. One of them transferred out, but uh, they've been the core of the program, and they're the reason for the success that we've had over the last couple well, of years. Well, I mean, the biggest thing you talk to anyone who's around John Jensen and baseball, and I'm sure it applies to school too, is that he works nonstop. He has an outstanding work work ethic. Uh, it's never good enough. He's a perfectionist, and so, you know, if he if he makes one mistake, then he wants 20 more ground balls, or he wants 20 more fly balls, or he wants to take another bucket of cuts. It's not, hey, one more, you know, throw me one more pitch. It's throw me one more bucket. And so, you know, John just has an outstanding work ethic, and that will make him successful in everything he does, not just baseball, but in life. Um, well, definitely my goal is to uh, bring the team another state championship, but that's that's a big goal, and it's, it takes work from everybody, and um, the, the program needs a leader, and I feel that um, last year I was one of those leaders, and this year I'll be able to step up and be the leader again, just to keep pushing us and keep helping us to stay on the right track and keep working, because practices, they sometimes get old. Uh, when it's really cold, it's really hot, when it's at the end of the season when you don't want to practice anymore. Um, the games are a lot more fun than practices, but sometimes practices, they need to be the best practice you've had all season. And um, sometimes the coaches can't always get that across to the players. Sometimes we're hard-headed. And so sometimes it takes a player to step up and say, all right, guys, we, we really got to focus right here. Um, this is a really vital part of our season, and we really need to step up right here and have a really good practice so we can move on as a team and get back to the state championship game as well as winning it.
<laughs> um, he he's a tough coach. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't call him a softy. Um, I mean, there's times where we like to mess around a little bit, and he always sets us right back um, into focus. And um, I mean, he's not tough, as in he sits there and yells at us the whole time. But he definitely puts us back on the right track and gets us back into a practice mentality and gets us back focused on what we need to do. You know, the other thing that I really wanted to say about John was that, you know, you look at him as two-time first-team All-State catcher as a, as a junior or as a sophomore and a, and a junior in 3A. But not only that, but last year at, at, with him as the primary catcher, we had two first-team All-State pitchers and a second-team All-State pitcher, which he calls the game. You know, we don't call pitches for him. John calls the game. And so to know that we had, you know, those three All-State pitchers in our lineup you know, the reason they were All-State pitchers, the reason they went 8-0, and 8-1, and, and 8-1 and was because of John behind the plate. You know, he, he makes them successful. Being a part of the ABA was really, um, it, it's what put me to the next level of baseball. Our, our program is geared towards helping New Mexico kids get to the next level. The next le level is college baseball. And, and, and so understanding what college coaches are looking for, you know, good student athletes, good character kids, uh, you know, work ethic, play hard. Though, so, so knowing what we need, what the college coaches are looking for, then we've got to make sure the kids understand that all those little things that they do on the field and off the field are being scrutinized. And so it's very important that um, those kids, you know, that the kids in the program who are going to make mistakes, we all do, but but they learn from those and, and they grow and they move on to package themselves uh, to be attractive to the college coaches. And it's whether whether he gets a base hit or he makes an error, or, you know, it's a good day or it's a bad day. Um, John is the guy that plays hard and sets the example for everybody else. And, and so for us as an organization of attaining our goal of helping him and others move on to, and play at the next level, John is that example. It's the, it's the athlete who deserves the majority of the credit, not the high school coaches nor the ABA. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go to school yet, but I want to major in pre-medicine and hopefully um, go on to become a surgeon, like a sports surgeon.